As of recently, it appears to be that everyone is attempting to let you know when and how the world will end. A few situations are undeniably more recognizable and logical than others. Those that are broadly examined in the media range from irresistible sicknesses to atomic conflict the entire way to crashes. With enormous space rocks while they are immeasurably not quite the same as each other. They all offer one thing in like manner. They're all ready to really end the human species for the last time. Yet, these situations miss the mark when contrasted with a certain something, dark openings. We as a whole are know about them. However, what precisely is a dark opening? Dark openings are locales of room where the gravity is high to the point that the texture of existence has bended back on itself. Taking the leave entryways with it. Yet, what does that try and mean? Also, why are dark openings dark? Indeed, any huge item, for example. A dark opening star or planet has a specific break speed that is expected to get away from the draw of gravity on that article. For instance, Earth's getaway speed is around 11 kilometers each second. Move that quick and you can get away from Earth's draw and take off to the edge of the universe. In any case, chances are, you'll most likely be pulled in by something's gravity ultimately. Yet, that is not the point, the more grounded the gravity an item has, the higher the getaway reasoning is currently. Dark openings have probably the most elevated gravitational pulls in the whole universe. As a matter of fact, dark openings are guessed to have singularities where gravity pulls you with limitless power. However, we'll get to that later. Suppose, some way or another we made a dark opening with similar definite mass of Earth multiple times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Okay, this looks great. But this isn't the scale. It would look something more like this. To transform Earth into a dark opening, you'd need to squash it down to about the width of your pinky finger, around 9 millimeters. So these two enormous items have a similar careful mass, with the exception of one is the size of your finger and the other is the size of a planet. So how does this occur? Dark openings are made? They are ordinarily framed by the passing of enormous stars. Those with around 20 to multiple times the mass of our sun while living stars go through atomic combination in their course. Melting lighter components like hydrogen and helium. This combination of components makes energy and strain that drives out away from the sun while gravity keeps the star kept intact. However, over the long haul more than billions of years, Stars start to run out of these lighter components and continue on toward heavier ones. They start to combine denser components like carbon and oxygen as far as possible up to silicon and iron. But here lies the issue, iron can't intertwine with anything. There isn't any more energy being created. So the force of the star's gravity takes over falling the star under its own load until it detonates in what we call a cosmic explosion. The external pieces of the star fly a huge number of miles into space while the center keeps on imploding under its own weight and turns out to be thickly packed. Recall how Earth has a getaway speed of around 11 kilometers each second. Indeed, assuming after so much. The center of what was the star is as yet huge enough around 2.5 times. 
the mass of our sun and thick enough the brake speed of the center turns out to be a lot more prominent than the speed of light north of 300,000 km each second. This structure is what we know as a dark opening. An area of space is made where nothing, not even the quickest thing known to mankind light can get away. Yet we should have some good times with it and jump into one. Envision only briefly that you are on board a spaceship yet no ordinary spaceship. One that can challenge physical science. One that can speed up you to any incredibly high speed significantly higher than the speed of light. This is totally unthinkable. However, it's all right in light of the fact that you know. Your spaceship can arrive at any speed under the sun. You have no apprehension about dark openings and choose to fall into one. In the mission of science, you pick the very enormous dark opening at the focal point of the smooth way universe Sagittarius. A star, this behemoth of a dark opening is more than 88 million kilometers wide. Almost multiple times as wide as our own sun. A dark opening of this size will give you sufficient opportunity to notice it as you fall into it. From the start, things could really be serene. What's more, here's the reason as a result of the dark opening size right now. The gravity isn't precisely going to be difficult for you. However, it will discernibly affect the light digging out from a deficit you. As you fall towards the dark opening, you notice a few surprising things. To start with, the stars behind you as you fall into the dark opening start to develop a lot more brilliant. The light from those stars is being pulled so firmly by the dark opening's gravity that they start to blue shift as you fall endlessly further towards the occasion skyline. That is where our universe and within the dark opening meet. It starts to take up increasingly more of your field of view. Maybe the whole sky before you is loaded up with dimness as you're going to cross the occasion skyline. You see the remainder of the noticeable universe dense into one single minuscule point straightforwardly behind you. In the event that you had the option to zoom in with your telescope onto this point, you would see the light from every one of the stars and the systems in the universe. However, you would likewise see an extremely faint red sparkle. You recollect this. This is the Infinite Microwave Foundation or CMB. It's basically a guide of the electromagnetic radiation left over from the enormous detonation. The exact moment that the universe appeared the faint red sparkle you would see is really this radiation being helped into the noticeable range. And afterward at last, it goes dull. You have crossed the occasion skyline and it's just murkiness from here out. You understand that now is the right time to get to work before you get torn separated by the dark opening's gravity. So you start to see aside from you see nothing. There is no light. The view out of your cockpit window is totally and in a real sense dark. Pretty much nothing remains to be seen. Nothing remains to be noticed. You started this excursion to plunge further than any human could into a dark opening to find what really lies there. Yet, there isn't anything, you know. The peculiarity of the dark opening lies ahead where our material science and arithmetic come up short and you came to sort out why. In any case, you can't, the responses are directly before you. However, you have absolutely not a chance of noticing it. 
your process has reached a conclusion and now is the ideal time to leave this dark damnation opening. You endeavor to turn your spaceship around and push away from the dark opening at speeds not even light can coordinate. However, there's an issue. Your spaceship's instruments that are intended to recognize the progression of gravity so you can situate yourself aren't precisely working the manner in which you anticipated that they should. They should point you toward the peculiarity permitting you to turn straight around and escape. But they're demonstrating that the peculiarity lies surrounding you toward each path. Possible gravity appears to increment up down left, right, 360 levels of only increasingly strong gravity. The point that you are at present it is the most vulnerable that gravity will be for your future self. Each bearing focuses endlessly further towards the peculiarity in your unavoidable profundity. Obviously, there's an issue with your instruments. This can't be valid, can it? Small black square, small black square, with the exception of it will be, it is valid. When you cross the occasion skyline of a dark opening, there is no leaving the three-layered coordinate framework that we use in our universe doesn't work time doesn't stream like the manner in which we experience it here in the ordinary universe time streams downwards towards the peculiarity. The bend of room time inside the occasion skyline. Each course that is hypothetically away from the peculiarity would eventually convey you in reverse in time into the past. This is the genuine meaning of an occasion skyline. Once crossed, there are zero. In a real sense zero places where there are directions that face away from the dark opening. There are just directions that pull you in more profound and more profound. The peculiarity is surrounding you and it is drawing nearer.